right, we have episode three here. It's the Bluetooth module for the solar charge controller. Uh, the box is on the left, and you can see the it's very tiny little module. It has a 16-foot cord on it, and it plugs into the solar controller. There's only two lights on it, the power light and the uh, communication status indicator right here. And um, they say the Bluetooth is good for 85 feet. So um, this version here is version 2. Apparently version 1 had problems. I will post a link below for Run Algae uh, version 2. Do not buy it, or you can, you can try, but if you get picked up from a third-party vendor or Amazon, you might end up with version 1, so I will post the link below. Here we have the uh, Bluetooth module hooked up. It is connected over here to the RS-232 port. There's 16 foot of cable here. And there's the module, the green light on. This is for the power on. What you do is you download the app for an iPhone or any i tablets and that kind of stuff at the Apple Store or you go to Google Play for your Android devices whether it be your cell phone or your tablet so um, to once you download the app here's what it looks like on my Android phone there's no voltage shown for the solar panel or the battery um, what you do is it's right now on the monitoring tab you press the device info tab right there and it says device is disconnected and then you search for the device you see that um, BT one at the top is the device the module and you confirm it Let's do it again. Sometimes it takes a couple times. Search device. Confirm. There it is. Device connected. Okay, and over here, you'll see the little blue flashing light that it's communicating between your phone and the module. So let's go over here and hit the monitoring tab and let's see it uh, there it is so the panel has uh, 13.7 volts on it and the battery is 100% charged now I charge the battery all the way up for this first part of the demo and what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna discharge the battery get it down to lower voltage so you can see the voltage changes now there's also this record tab here and you can press the different and they'll have a graph there so I'm going to include a link below from Renology to give you an, a better insight on it to walk you through the tabs the settings and etc so there we go we've got 13.6 uh, on the solar cell got 13.4 voltage on the battery now the other thing is uh, I've also hooked up over here my solar panels and I have them on the back of the little guy Max in a flat position and they're hooked up in parallel here, as you can see, this cable running from the this guy here. It's a five-foot cable that I had to your Y connectors, and then this cord right here is my 20-foot cord, and that goes runs all the way to the front to the solar control charge controller. Now we have the uh, 
app display I've discharged the battery as you can see the uh, solar panel is 12.3 volts and the battery is at 12.1 48% capacity and everything else is normal so I've uh, played with the Bluetooth um, it turns out it's very stable but inside the little guy comes in with no problems I've even been inside my house to monitor the status of the solar charge controller and uh, panel and battery and it's worked out really well now this comes with the little device there the BT1 comes with 16 foot of cable so you can put that inside the little guy if you want rather than having it outside here uh, it seemed to work fine where it is this allows me to make it uh, portable where I can use this whole setup assembly other than the little guy max so if you enjoy the video give us a thumbs up please subscribe and have a nice day